But there's something about having your eyeball eaten that's kind of gross. And there's, a, there's an amoeba that uh, wasn't a parasite of people until we started using contact lenses. And some people don't clean their contact lens properly. And if you are unlucky enough to get this amoeba behind your contact lens and put in your contact lens, uh, an amoeba that normally eats soil will start eating your eyeball. And then it reproduces and goes through eating your eyeball. And so things like that are gross. Uh, there's something about parasites that is inherently like it, it, it really it's visceral and it makes sense because you know we think about how scary bears are and that makes sense because we know we don't want to be eaten by a predator but in terms of human evolution predators are not what we have to worry about it's parasites and disease those are the things that kill humans and that's why we are naturally repulsed by parasites that eat our eyeballs eating rotten food you know imagine having like a, a rotten piece of chicken on the table that's that's got flies all over it and stuff. You don't want to eat that. And that's because your brain, your instincts are, are built to avoid getting sick because that's just as dangerous as a bear. The things that make the biologist laugh, the things that make me laugh or just make me disgusted or make me just say, what? Really? That really exists? Those are the kinds of stories that, I, for me, that's biology. That's the science of it. And it's when you have little hooks like that that people start asking questions about, well, if, uh, so if there's a, a sea slug that can eat algae and then steal their machinery so that they can photosynthesize inside them, you know, how does that all work? I mean, I don't understand how that could work, and it makes them ask bigger questions about how the biology works, and, and so it's, it's like a gateway drug. If you can get somebody grossed out and curious, they're going to start asking questions they wouldn't have asked otherwise.